Welp, 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 here on YouTube. Welcome to the Welp Dom. You are slowly falling asleep as we attempt to react to music. <laughs> Do I do a good job? Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I you know, it, it's a small wonder we have no views on our channel. Um, <laughs> Nathan, mm -hmm. this is a special request because this is from Ellie. She is our confidant, <gasps> the queen, the uh, the backbone of our of our page of our channel. She uh, is our. She does all the administrative work. There you go. That's secretary. Administrative work on our channel. She answers people's queries. She puts out fires. She uh, sends me nudes. I mean, it's amazing. She is a fantastic part of the channel. We appreciate her. <laughs> so uh, part of the deal is Ellie gets a free song. That's what we pay her. <laughs> <laughs> She gets one out. free. She gets one free song a month. <laughs> <laughs> For all that work. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. I don't know why I'm red. Okay, uh, Ellie. She's amazing. We love her. She loves us. It's it's simpatico. She takes as good as she gives, and she gives as she gives as good as she takes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Nothing! I didn't do anything! <laughs> Why am I always in trouble? Okay. <laughs> anyway, anyways, here, <clears throat> here we go. This is her write-up. She said this. Uh, this is a demo. This is Niall Horn, by the way. We're all horn dogs for Niall, right? All right, so this is a demo that was leaked recently, although Niall has talked about writing it. He said, quote, I wrote a song about my granddad. I didn't meet my granny. She died the year before I was born. Hmm. Hmm. When she died, he kind of turned into a recluse and never left the house. Oh. So I wrote the song about her leaving him on his own in the world. Not sure if that song will make the album. Okay, interesting. So do we know if this song will make the album? So it's called Waiting on God. And then I do have a, something to read after the song is played. I have something to read that she wants me to read. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Now, Horan, <clears throat> Waiting for God. That's the context for the song. Boy, it uh, sounds like a sad song already. Waiting on I'm actually God. waiting. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just really quickly here. I'm sorry. I want to bring up the lyrics because I, th I think it's just an audio video. So uh, waiting on okay, God. Bring it up too. Uh, yeah, I think it'd just be good. Here we go. Uh, got the lyrics. Okay, perfect. All right, so here we go. Let's check it out. It's from the Flickr era. Okay. That's <laughs> from the flicker. Thank you. Smoking more than a steam train. Box of mages and a pill tray. We're gonna kill you in the same way. We end up dying on the same day. Little money on a horse race. Couple pints in the same place. Anything to pass the time away. Cause home's a lonely place Where love leaves All you got is routine The odds, the ends, and all the in-betweens Kitty, don't go I want you to stay
You missed the decade of my small talk You missed the first word and the first walk I'm being patient but it still hurts Kinda wish you let me go first Kitty don't go I want you to stay I mean, obviously, a uh, beautiful song. Um, <laughs> she gets two? Yeah. She gets two songs? I didn't yeah. remember that. The contract? I'd like to see the contract drawn up, please. Um, <laughs> anyways. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful song. And it, I mean, of course, you're married and I'm married. And I, I always, think, you know, I think about my mortality. I know what are you worried about. But, you know, we all die. And the idea, like, you know, someone's going to go first. It's a weird mm -hmm. thought. Like, it's going to be about, probably me because my wife's younger than me. So, and women live longer than men to begin with. So, I suspect she'll outlive me. And it breaks my heart a little bit. I almost wish, you know, she could go first so I can take on the burden of being alone than her. I know it sounds stupid. So, what mm -hmm. I'm going to probably do is I'm going to smother her in her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where is this going? <laughs> once she uh, kind of, <laughs> once she starts to get too many wrinkles, <laughs> oh, it's time. <laughs> it's time. Okay. Anyways, I it was obviously it's. A, I, I, <laughs> we do that again, but really close to the camera. No. Um. Yeah, beautiful song, heartbreaking, and but really cool of Niall to do that for <clears> his. <throat> I, I, how's his grandfather? Is he okay, or did he help get out of the house? Or I'm being serious. Like I just yeah. I hope he's okay. You know, obviously Niall loves him. Has made the song for him. But but the thing is, he really expressed the. I guess uh, what I like about what Niall did here, he really expressed what his grandfather's feeling. Like he didn't make any bones about it. Like he didn't say, mm. come on, grandpa, just leave your home. Enjoy life out there. You know, he's actually singing yeah. his grandpa's real feelings, right? Like, yeah. yeah or what yeah. he suspects but, his feelings. Yeah. I, here's, or are you, are you finished or I don't want to, yeah, I don't uh, yeah, on your toes. Okay. That's cool. yeah. I, to quote BB King from the rattle and hum video, as he's talking to Bono, those are some really heavy lyrics. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to read the thing. Uh, read, Sorry, the thing. You, uh, read the Sorry. thing. Read the Sorry. thing. Read the thing. I know. I just get so distracted. I think I. I might have ADHD. I might have it. I don't know. Sorry, Ellie. Uh, it's a mighty big butt. All right. So, um, so this is a. I'm. I'm really confused by the context here. So I apologize. This is from a guy named Jason McKivitt. Do we know who that is? Okay. Uh, Jason McKibben wrote this. Oh, oh, I think he... So he retweeted the song that we just heard from YouTube. Okay. Okay. And then this is what he said. He goes, wow. Like, Niall, I'm, pr I'm a proud Mollinger man. Do you know what that is? Mollinger man? Maybe Alec can tell us. Uh, I knew Niall's... It's capital M U L L I N G A R. Hmm. Mollinger, I mean, that sounds like a maybe probably a, where they're from, maybe where he's place from in, in Ireland. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, town in Ireland. Hey, I I got it though. I guessed it. Can't say Ireland though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's where. Okay, it's where Niles from. Perfect. Okay. Now we're all caught up. Okay. I'm a proud Mollinger man. I knew Niles' granddad Bob. Oh, I see. I knew Niles' granddad Bob, and I actually worked many years ago with his granny Kitty. So that her name was Kitty. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. So the lyrics of this beautiful song about them brought a tear to my eye. A gift to songwriter. Wow. There you go. Oh, that is very sweet. Um, Jason McKevitt, is that somebody special though? Or do we know who that is? Or I mean, it's fine if he isn't, but it's a very sweet. Song. And I agree. I was I was choked up. I was feeling it. 
Uh, and yeah, so now obviously now is a sweet guy, right? The fact that he could write this and it's for his grandfather voicing what his grandfather's feeling. It's, it's very sweet and very hard to do. And I, I just wonder how his grandfather felt. I just, I'm just curious what, if he heard it anyways. All right. So I, I think he absolutely is a gifted, uh, songwriter and I'm surprised that this one isn't one that would have got more airplay or at least like yeah, an album. album just because it's personal. It's so like, think about these, the, the, the writing of these, this line. Okay. When love leaves, all you got is routines, the odds, the ends and all the in-betweens. Um, mm. and then like, uh, where is the other one? Um, don't go. Oh, the chorus is fantastic, right? I want you to stay not ready to be, to be alone in this place. Kitty don't leave. Cause it won't be the same. When will I see you again? Like it's heartbreaking. It really is just like, mm. oh, yeah. um, yeah, fantastic. And he, Ellie just chimed in with like this, the guy that that tweet came from, that's just a guy that knew the parents. That's I cool, think it's though. fantastic that it's, well, oh, sorry. There's this community of people that Niall is from, of where people are a lot more connected, I would say in a smaller town. I love small towns, by the way, for that reason alone is people seem to be a whole lot more connected in those smaller towns than when you go to a city and you just like, nobody knows anybody. Anyway, I, I just think like it, it's this, the, we're getting an insight of what it's like to live in a small town in Ireland. And, and the idea of like, oh, I don't know, Maybe that's just going a stretch farther. On no, I, 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 I just find I, no, it. I think it's. I think it's all those things. I think that this, yeah. you're tapping to everything. I think it's, it's the song, the message, the small town community of this, mm -hmm. the guy that knew the, the fact this guy knew Niall's grandparents. And he just wanted to reach out, saying, "Hey, I knew your, I knew your granddaddy." You know, it's really cool. I, I agree. I think it's all that's very sweet and very and very very nice, and um, we why know you, why. Why are you I don't holding a weapon? I'm not. I'm just. I. I just. You know what? I just, I, 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 you know, I always have to have something in my hand to play with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Thanks, Elliot. You're the best. Niall's awesome. We love him. And, uh... yeah, we do. Thank you so much. Uh, Ellie, you are the best. You make, you make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. Wow. Okay. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.